Number 35. Can a molecule with an odd number of electrons ever be diamagnetic? Explain why or why not. All right, well, this comes from understanding what it means to be diamagnetic, right? Now, in chemistry, we can pull this, this um, word out by saying what the word di means in chemistry, right? Di is two, right? So like when we talk about like carbon dioxide, we have two oxygens, dioxide. So di just means two. Now, when we're talking about magnetic, we're talking about spins of an electron. So if you're, if you are diamagnetic, basically you should have two electrons in every molecular orbital. So now, when we're talking about molecular orbitals, right, the two electrons, those come in pairs. So if you're basically all paired up, you have two electrons in every, mole you know, every molecular orbital, you're all paired. So that's what it means to be diamagnetic. So all your lines, right? Let's just say that I have a list of, I don't know, five lines, right, per se. If you are diamagnetic, you need to have all of your lines paired up. All lines should have your two electrons. Two, 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 two. They're all paired. So that is diamagnetic. But now the question is, can a molecule with an odd number of electrons ever be diamagnetic? Well, what, what are odd numbers, right? One, three, five, seven, nine, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Can those ever all be paired? Well, di two electrons, it's always going to be going up by two. So when you're all paired, you have to be even, right? Two paired, four, six, eight, uh, 10. I actually had to think of that. So they have to all be even. These odd numbers, you will be stripped away. For example, this would now be nine um, electrons. So now if you do have maybe like a five, one, two, three, four, five, and you have only one electron, that's not all paired. If you have three, that's not all paired. If you have five, that's not all paired. Seven, and nine, these would not classified, these would not be classified as diamagnetic. This would be classified as paramagnetic. So that is the case. So can a molecule with an odd number ever be diamagnetic? No, never, 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 never. And the reasoning is basically in these drawings that I wrote out what the definition of diamagnetic is, and they have to be all paired, and an odd number will never be all paired because it's not an even. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. If you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you for being part of this community. It's so awesome that this, this channel is helping you guys out wherever you are in the world, in your chemistry classes, physics, and math videos, um, the math, math classes as well. So thanks so much. Um, you guys rock. And I'll be talking to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.